Hi, I'm Ty Dega, and you're watching the MBS Show. Hello and welcome to the MBS Show, episode number 179. I am your host, Norman Sanzo. Joining me today is Ro. Hello, all you happy people. Hey there, Ro. How are you doing, man? Doing great. Quit my job and I'm sitting at home drawing waifus. <laughs> all right, all right. Also joining me today is Kyle. Hello, folks. Sorry. <coughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I should mention I am ill today. I do have the cold, and uh, that means that, like a steam train, I am incredibly charismatic, lovable to look at, but I am slowly dying. <laughs> oh, don't die, man! I still need you. <laughs> I know, and I need you to row. <laughs> well, at least after this, we can place some ticket to ride. <laughs> That is if we don't kill each other in the process. <laughs> that's kill the each other? Why would we do that? Why would we kill each other? <laughs> We're too competitive for our goods. That's the problem. <laughs> now, who's this guy? Also joining us is, all guests for this week, is Tyan Daga. <laughs> hey, everybody. Oh, sorry, man. How are you doing, Ty? <laughs> I'm doing very good. It's bright. And- oh, never mind. It's raining outside. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> that escalated quickly. Yep, yep. <laughs> it's all over. <laughs> So, how are you doing, man? Very, very good. <laughs> how are you doing? I'm doing nobody fine, I'm doing fine. <laughs> I know, nobody asks me. Like, nobody even cares. Ooh, I'll ooh, be ooh. polite, I'll ask you. We're just following okay. protocols in the script, man. <laughs> yeah, the script does not say to ask you how you're doing. Oh, uh, well, that's just <laughs> So, play the script by your department. Oh, that's just me. <laughs> I've never even met you. How do, like, you always ask the same questions. You could just be one of those Autobots on the web. Just like saying the exact same questions. Hello, my name is Norman Sanzo, and joining me today is insert name here. How are you doing? <laughs> hey, hey! If I was a bot, I would have whooped your butts in gaming. No, you. That's wouldn't. true. He's not very good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, However, he is very apartment. good at blocking <laughs> Winnipeg. <laughs> no, don't talk about Winnipeg. Winnipeg doesn't bring up. We don't bring that up here. Go start seeing red. But, but anywho, but anywho, Ty, before we officially start, we, I need to ask you the four important questions. And question number one is, who's your favorite character? It's gotta be Discord. Discord? Wow, did yeah, you see yeah. that one coming? He's funny, zany, you know, random, I, I love that. You, you never know what to expect, but you know it's gonna be good. <laughs> gotta oh. love it. Alright, alright. And favorite episode? Uh, favorite episode... I uh I really like that recent Discord episode <laughs> coming back to the favorite character. Uh what was it called again? The one where Discord went to the gala, the smooth uh, one, the smooth yeah, one. I, oh god, wow. That, that was a Make wild. your friends but keep Discord. That's yeah, what it was yeah, called. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was a funny episode. I really enjoyed that one. It was oh, really good. Good yeah, job, guys. And also that tree hugger thing like oh no, I I can't even do it. I I forgot how to do it. It was the basic <laughs> of all jokes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, less emotion, bro. Less emotion. <laughs> oh, the I just like how he was served. <laughs> it was just the most brilliant moment of MLP I've ever have seen in months. You're the ghost basic of jokes. What? Oh! What? 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 <laughs> Shots fired. Uh, so, um, third question is: How did you become a fan of the show? Um, I came a fan of the show through Fall Equestria of all things. I, I have a funny story. <laughs> uh, so I, I was playing Fall Three, mm-hmm. and it, it was I was doing a quest, and of course I'm not very smart, so I was having trouble with said quest, and I don't remember what it was either. Uh, regardless, I needed to look for help, so I went online. Uh, I typed into Google uh, Fallout, and one of the options, one of the pull down options, was Fall Equestria. Uh, so I thought, oh, this must be one of those forum websites, the ones that you can find help on and, you know, other people maybe have the same problems as you, uh, hopefully, so you can get help from there. So I clicked on it and I realized that this was not, in fact, a Fallout website at all. It was Equestria Daily. Oh. Uh, and it was the page for the Fall Equestria book. So I said, oh, well, you know, what, what the heck is this? This isn't what I'm looking for, but it looks interesting. Maybe I should check this out because how would you combine MLP and Fallout into the same, like, into one story? Uh, so I decided to give it a read and it was the best read or best book I've ever read. <laughs> oh, it was good. Oh. Did you know that Fallout Equestria is longer than Trio Lord of the Ring combined? 
Yeah, it's it's a crazy one. And uh, Project Horizons, one of the a spin-off story of it, is even longer than the original. So oh. it's nutty. Yeah, oh, it's very, very, very fun to read all these. It's really good. Well, okay, that's interesting. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> <laughs> Who knew? I know, I know. And last question is, what do your family and friends think about your love for set show? Um, they actually don't know. Oh, uh, really, you know. Yeah, it's, it's all a secret. Um, I'm in trouble. No, I'm kidding. But <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I just don't tell them. It's, mm. I don't know. Alright. So, no friends too? Nope, no friends. Besides internet friends, of course. Mm, Alright. So, I mean, it's normal because over here, I don't tend to hide my fandom. I show it proud with the t-shirts I buy and wear. <sighs> I'm going broke. But yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't mind. I don't mind. Longingly looking at your closet on all the t-shirts. <laughs> oh, what should I wear today? Should I wear Rainbow Dash or Rainbow Dash with Pinky or Pinky and Twy? <laughs> or should oh, I just go nuts with Spike? <laughs> Feeling crazy today. <laughs> oh yeah. Feeling crazy today. At least that would be my closet. <laughs> well, the, the... My closet is just, just filled with Applejack shirts. Oh. It's just Applejack, 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 Applejack. Rainbow Dash, Applejack, 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 Applejack. Uh, it's like it's an old cartoon. So apple. what should I wear today? Should I wear Applejack with Applejack or Applejack with apples? <laughs> Actually, Jordan asked something. What would be quite good is to wear Applejack with Applejack while drinking Applejack cider. <laughs> I think you would, like, make a rip in the universe. Oh, and you would wow. get sucked into another dimension with apples. Every- and apples get bored over a while. Oh, true, but no, you can never get tired of apples. Apples are good. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. <laughs> Applejack, you can't eat all those apples. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> eat all these apples. Nope, nope, nope. Bite nope. me. <laughs> uh, but anywho, but anywho, um, uh, Ty, so you mind telling the audience who you are and what you do? Because I personally know you, who you are and what you do, and we hang out with the games. But for the audience who don't know, mind telling them? Okay, well, uh, hi, my name's Ty and Digga. As you can see from the name badge on my, on my chest, uh, it's, it, I, I wrote it in crayon, thank you. Um, I, I make YouTube videos, I make MLP videos, uh, I do them maybe once a month or so, cause I'm lazy. I also make artwork on my DeviantArt that I post regularly, and I also do some Facebook stuff too, where I post regularly. And that about sums up my life. So, you do the YouTubes, you do the deviant art. So, how long have you been drawing? I'd say it's certainly under a year. I don't have like a specific time, but I think around maybe 10 months or so where I finally sort of picked it up and I said, hey, I'm going to draw something. It was awful. But then I got better and it was still awful. But I'm trying. <laughs> ah, so you started drawing when MLP started? 10 months ago. Really? That's now? not when MLP started. I mean, started drawing when you entered the fandom? Uh, I've only had the channel for around seven months, so I, I, I had a bit of drawing experience before I actually started the channel. I mean, hmm. not much, granted, but it showed. So basically, you started drawing because of ponies, that's all? Uh, yeah, actually, in a way, yeah, you could say that, definitely. Huh, well, that, that's cool, that's cool. Yeah. So what drawing tools do you use? Like, uh, for, uh, most people use Photoshop, Crook, yeah, um... I, I use Photoshop. I've got a, I've, I'm actually holding it right now. I've got this Wacom Intuos tablet. It's like the really cheap one, the small one. Uh, I, I didn't want to, you know, dump my money on something expensive. However, maybe I should have because <laughs> often enough, what it'll do is it will start clicking on its own. <laughs> I'm not kidding. It's got its own mind. Um, if you let it stay for a little while, if you, if you don't touch it for a little while, it starts to wander off on the screen. You'll see the mouse kind of, do its own thing and it will <laughs> click everywhere. It's actually quite scary. I think it might be haunted. Well, of course, of course, it gets bo- it got bored. Oh <laughs> wow! Do the same thing if you were just standing there for hours. Oh, I don't believe. Uh, like it'll be ten minutes. <laughs> Why am I not drawing? Right Why am I not drawing? Why is this guy not letting me draw? I shall draw myself. I will draw myself. I will move the mouse across the cursor and I will draw myself. Why is my master not drawing? It's only been I come four back. minutes. Oh, I come I've back been drawing. It, it's like I come back to my like to the Photoshop screen and I see there's like a self portrait of the tablet sitting in like a really fancy chair sipping some wine. <laughs> I'm glad you added that bit there because I was about to say a self portrait of a tablet would just be a rectangle. I mean, just... 
Oh, oh. <laughs> no, no, wait, wait, wait. It, did you press the magical make art button? Oh, yeah, the, the, the infamous oh. magic part button. It didn't oh. come with that feature. Oh. It just, it, it's just hot. You it's must have left it on autopilot. That's, that would explain everything. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, Where's James when you need still. him? He makes that joke way funnier. <laughs> yeah. So you started off seven months ago. I mean, I'm assuming, so how do I put this? I'm seeing your DeviantArt art here and it says seven months, but I'm assuming that you've drawn a while now, right? Well, I mean, I was drawing on like pencil with pencil and paper for a bit before that. Um, uh, and it was, it's a good start to, to do pencil and paper for all you aspiring artists out there. Mm-hmm. Uh, start with that because, uh, although the one thing that pencil and paper doesn't have, and this is unfortunate, I'm surprised they don't have it yet, is an undo button. <laughs> yeah. The undo so, button is called the eraser. <laughs> yeah, and it's so, it's, it's so worse. It's a lot worse. Um, they gotta get that soon. I'm sure someone's gonna invent that. Mm. Either way. Yeah, but still, uh, I do see the improvements. Within a few months, you've done well for yourself. Yay! That's good. So, you use Photoshop, you use a tablet. Anything else you use? Uh, I'm just trying to think. As far as, like, making art, no. Uh, however, for making videos, I use, uh, Sony Vegas 12. That's, that's my go-to editing software. Oof, really good. Hmm, Sony Vegas 12. Anything yes. else you use? Like, um, Premiere or After nope. Effects? Nope. Uh, the, here's the thing with After Effects. I actually have it on my computer. However, I don't know how to use that thing. No one does. <laughs> I get on the screen and I just have like seizures. It's horrible. <laughs> I see red and then I, I wake up two days later in a hospital wondering what happened with my life. <laughs> oh, that's not good. But, okay. No, it's not. It's horrible. It's funny. So, what are your criteria for making videos? Uh, what do you mean exactly? Like, I, I, I'm seeing here you don't have much. Like, you have a, I think maybe around twelve or ten videos like that. Oh, so like, how do I choose what video to do? Yeah, like, um, I do see you have your, um, one thousand subscribers Q and A and your Patreon and all those good stuff. But like, I also see you have a bit of reviews here and there. So. Um, what are your criteria for making videos? Well, I mean, there, there's certainly no order when, when choosing a topic or a, an idea for a video. It's just usually whenever I finish a video, I'll the, that the next day I'll think of an idea for the next video, and then I'll work on that, and that's kind of how I've been going. And it's it's a dangerous game. Don't don't try this at home, kids. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I, I think it's worked out really well because I haven't been trying to, f- to set myself to do things like episodic reviews all the time and try to keep up with things like that. And I think that's benefited me greatly because um, I'm a lot less like nervous and anxious than my uh, reviewing counterparts, my analysis counterparts. And uh, I think it's shown. It's it's done well. Hmm. All right. All right. Well, I talk I... about what I want to really is what I'm getting at. Hmm. That's good. And I do see here that well. Um... Your view, view accounts may vary, like your Patreon got a thousand views, and how to make a good eloquent OC got 14k, and well, it's all over the place, but I do see that you have a consistent number there, so that's good. Yeah, yeah, it's been really good, like there's been so much excellent support, um, and I gotta be appreciative to everyone for, you know, giving me that support, it's great. Mm, cool, cool. How long does it take you to create a video from start to finish? Like the writing phase to the recording okay. phase and so on. Um, it it really depends on the the video. Uh, obviously things like a collaboration, for example, that takes a lot longer because then I have to make the other person's like poses because I do that all myself. Uh, as far as like a sort of general average time length, it takes me about like two weeks or so to make a video. But then again, I'm certainly not like like full on two weeks. It's kind of like I'll put in an hour or two each day, and then I'll eventually get it done. Hmm. All right. All right. All right. Uh, I create the episodes, like the podcast here. I mean, it takes me about a few hours to pull this shit out and well, edit and whatnot. But hey, um, I do take a lot of time. Like, uh, starting recording would take an hour, and then like fin- editing would take another hour, and then like me not feeling too hot, I'll take a break and so on, right? People and then, have... like, there's a glass of lemonade right beside you. It's like, well, now I can't just let that warm up. I gotta have it. So you have it. Yeah. And then there's more lemonade and it makes, like, a trail outside <laughs> of your house and you wonder where you're going. Uh, and then it takes you to a random stop sign. And that's when it stops. 
And you wonder, once again, what's happening with your life. <laughs> so true. So true. <laughs> so how often do you do collabs? Like, I'm seeing here you do with a few people. So how often do you do it? This is the thing. Obviously, I don't have many videos, so... You could say, oh, I've done a fair amount of collabs for the amount of videos I've done, but at the same time, I've only done really two collaborations and then uh, one cameo. Uh, as far as collaborations go with me, I don't mind collaborating with people, but we have to have a good video topic, something that we can talk about, and there has to be a reason for that person to be there. Uh, so that's, that's sometimes the trick. So if I think of a, a topic, for example, I did a most recent video on bases, um, I got Lightning Bliss for that because I figured, well, hey, she does all this, like, vector art and whatnot. I'm sure she has to deal with other people using bases all the time. So I decided, well, she's probably got a great opinion. Um, so I got her on, and it worked out really well. And that's really how you should be doing collaborations. It shouldn't be just getting people on for the sake of having people. It should be – there should be a reason for those people to be on. All right. And your OC is an interesting one, and it's a uh, deer. A reindeer. A reindeer. <laughs> All right. So why come why come up with a reindeer? Well, I, I certainly wanted to do something different. Uh, the, the thing is, there's so many like anal analysts, sorry, uh, reviewers, and people making videos in the community. So you have to try to find ways to stand out as much as possible. So if you make a character that's just a regular pony, yeah, it'll you can do fine. It's not like you can't do fine, and certainly the character does not make the person it won't you won't make you you know successful in that sense but it does sort of help uh so i i thought about it for a long time i'm like okay well let's try to make this something specific to canada uh of course there there really aren't like horses or anything specific to canada but we do have a ton of deer uh in the forests and whatnot because we have forests mm -hmm. uh and if you go further north um than where i am you have reindeer and oh. i'm thinking oh, okay well, that's a great idea nobody else is doing that i can make this look adorable let's do it <laughs> and there you got it Oh, cool, cool. I mean, uh, OCs are fun, and hey, uh, my OCs are boring. It's just a brown <laughs> pony with brown mane. But, but still a really adorable. cute beauty mark. Yeah, true, true. But hey, um, <laughs> sometimes celebrities too, they want their OCs to be made. And recently, Alice Cooper got his own pony plush. Oh. Uh, anybody know who Alice Cooper is? Not a clue. Uh, <laughs> if I remember correctly, a singer, right? Yeah, he is a very popular, I think, metal singer? I don't remember. Because... Yeah, 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 rock metal sometimes. I've heard it back like in early 2000s, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then it kind of like lost him. Yeah, he you was... will, you, you'll definitely know one song by him. I mean, everyone knows uh, School's Out. Oh, yeah, I think. Oh, yeah, that, that. that one. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, he, he's now we're talking. pretty, yeah, he's pretty popular. He's pretty out there. He's like a legend. And the whole story for this one is like, uh, two, uh, sisters, they got VIP access to meet, uh, meet him after the show. And they met him and they gave, how to say, uh, if I do remember right, um, those two sisters had a thing where if you can get me a ticket to, uh, meet Alice Cooper, I'll make a pony plush of him. And get him to sign. And, well, they did it. They did it. He signed it. And here's what he says. Quote, it was the coolest thing he, you know, it was the coolest thing I ever signed. So, <laughs> Aww. and oh, people always say, pictures already didn't happen. Pictures there, man. Like, they're so cool. Yeah. Still waiting on Morgan Freeman. Mm, you mean, yeah. <laughs> Guys, any question for Ty? What is your most favorite thing to draw? Uh, ponies. Really, though? Okay, that's yeah, yeah. the obvious. <laughs> <laughs> Not your OC? Well, I, I like drawing my OC, too, that's for sure. It's always fun doing that. I sort of combine ponies in my OC as well. Like, I, I sort of mean, like, all, all that. Like, horse-shaped people thingies. You know what I mean? <laughs> Stop right, questioning right. me! <laughs> <laughs> Anything with hooves. Hey, have you read the... MLP comic featuring the deers? I did. In fact, I am working on a super secret, not so secret project, uh, with Toon Critic, um, ah. reviewing said comics. So that's, that's gonna be a good one. Oh, God. They were very good comics, by the way. I liked them. Really? Did you like it? I liked it. It was the humor that I liked more so. The story could have been better. I'll oh, be honest. Okay. I like to be positive, but crikey, that story had a, had some holes. But the humor oh, was wow. great. 
uh, for people who don't know, me, Silver, and James, we do a review show on the same channel here. And we reviewed that comic. And, ay, caramba, was that a very... Let's just say that after coming from the Wild West arc and going to this one, we were very bitter and questioning our reasoning for doing this. <laughs> can be that what is life? <laughs> uh, Ro, have you seen Avatar, like the blue people thingy, the navies? Okay, that movie, we don't speak of it. It is banned. But we're right. talking about the comic right now. I've seen some pages. Yes, yeah, the story is basically part, that. It can't be that bad. No, no, the story is that. Recycle. That's the, that's the problem there. It, like, it's been told so many times and they're doing nothing new with the story. They're not even adding anything in. It but, is a good message though, nonetheless. True, but the way they... It was probably a filler. Yeah, but the problem is it was done by Andy Price and Katie Cook. So, with that combo there, it's like, it was very painful, if you know what I mean. Well, even great artists, writers, etc. need to like, you know, have these kind of moments. True, true. I mean... <sighs> and what do we know what hap- what's happening behind the scenes at Hasbro and in, in the comic studios? I, I know, I know. I mean, being positive and all this, our shtick, but sometimes when we need to drop the hammer, we drop the hammer. <laughs> That's my job. Uh, but still, but still. I'll give but, you both hammers. <laughs> it's hammer time? It's hammer time. <laughs> it's always hammer time. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, uh, Rob, what else do you do besides the videos and the YouTubes? Do you do anything else? Um, I play basketball quite a bit. I uh, I uh, play video games, of course. Mm, uh, true that, true You know that, that well enough. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm just trying to think what else. Obviously, I'm a student still, so oh. you know it's summer right now, obviously, and I you know I'm not at school, uh, but I am going into college first year starting September. So oh wow, it's so be hell. is this an exclusive? Because if I do remember right, you haven't told anyone. Oh, I've told people. Ah, but have you told it to your friends? <laughs> but you told me on my show. Oh. Yeah, I, I told Kyle on his show. Oh, so this is not an exclusive. Oh yeah, on Midnight Scribes Creative Vibes, the episode which came out a couple of days ago. <laughs> <laughs> shameless, oh, shameless plug. <laughs> yeah. They beat us to it, Norman. Uh, <laughs> it, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. The more people know, he's good. So you're going to college. College or uni? Uh, well, university. I, I just say college because that's what most people around the world will know what I'm talking about. Because right. some, for some reason, some people, when I say university, are like, what is that? And then I really? go home. Yeah, yeah, it's weird. Oh, I, I am no uh, longer surprised. Well, no, those, those Americans. The, to <laughs> me, like, uni is some uh, is a bar higher than college. Yes, it is. It is. Huh. I see it as the same thing, really. But anyway. Um, huh? Oh, yeah. Right. So, you're going to uni, so what are you going to take? Well, I'm uh, I'm going there for a first year just general engineering course. Uh, uh, however, I'm going to specify into something to do with computer engineering. Uh, oh. I don't know what yet because I still have to kind of figure out what's available there. Um, but it's going to be hell, and <laughs> I'm going to try my best. <laughs> good luck, good luck, because, well, I would have thought that you would have taken art. No, no, I... I I, I only do art for just, just for fun, really, or like if I absolutely need to. <laughs> I've had to do it pretty much out of necessity for the most part. Like, oh, geez, I need this video thumbnail done. I can't hire anyone. I've got no money. <laughs> okay, Robert, take the pencil. You're going in. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, that's interesting. Computer engineering. All right. Yeah. But hey, maybe when you finish, you could still do art at the same time? Well, I mean, I can still always do art on the side as well. Like, if I'm, you know, feeling pretty good at one day, I've got lots of free time, maybe I just draw something. You know, I can I can do that. I don't know if I would go to, you know, university or college or wherever you go to take art. Uh, I, I just don't see the need for me to do that. It'd be fun, but, you know, my parents aren't going to pay for it. <laughs> uh-huh. I, I, I understand, I understand, because to say that you don't have future in art is not true, because I know a few people who make a living out of art. So, yeah. it's not... Might as well present. Yeah, true, well, true. Especially with the internet, like, you know, now that the world's so much more connected than it is, and also, like, you know, the advancements of digital drawing, uh, having artists can, like, sell their work and stuff in so many more ways uh, than before. Than before. Mm-hmm, true, true. I mean, I think it's just 
uh, what you call this, a uh, backup or a safety net just in case. Because if you guys remember Andrew Lipman, she is a VA for Pinkie Pie and also uh, Further Shy. If I do remember right, she has a degree in engineering. Voice so, acting engineering? No, engineering, like <laughs> real engineering. <laughs> okay. That's still pretty good though. Yeah, so that's her safety net there, so that's awesome. And if you guys remember Ashley Ball, she does Applejack and Rainbow Dash. And she has her own band. So she has a safety net. So specializing in one thing is good. Yet if you broaden out your skills, it's also, well, good for your future. A safety net just in case. Yep. Norman, look at you. You're giving life lessons. <laughs> I try to. <laughs> Only on the MBS show. <laughs> uh, I try to. I try to. But if you do get the job and if you do want to travel, like the goal for some people is to travel abroad and work there because exchange rate is better. Like for (laughs) Malaysians, if they can work in Europe, that is good because the exchange rate is really high right now. And well, if you're traveling or working in Europe, you can always get the My Little Pony magazine. And in that magazine, you will get a figure of Mrs. Celestia. Yay! So, everybody, here's here's the plan. Step one, get an engineering degree. Step two, work in Europe. Step three, get the magazine. Step four, win. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, but... so step three is triple question mark. Step four, profit. <laughs> <laughs> True that. But hey, uh, we do have two Europeans here. So, uh, Kyle, Ro, have you seen this around? You forget that I live in a village. I don't know. You'd be cool Under to a town. rock. You didn't go to town? No? You're Patrick Starr. I knew it. <laughs> you know how much I hate to hang out with people. Uh, Kyle, what about you? Look, I live on the web. You should know by now that anything made of paper is automatically hated by me. That was my old job. My old job was to destroy paper. You're talking to me about paper. I hate paper. <laughs> well, paper of- is in... No, don't talk to me about... No. Digital is the future. Do not talk to me about evil paper. There's a piece of plastic <laughs> horse in it. And I, but that, 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 great. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you could say, great. Adults uh, are fighting again. <laughs> like, I've got an option, right? I can either give you an intelligent sound conversation, or I can eat the two chocolate chip cookies that are right in front of me. <gasps> you and share. I'm to, I would Split them in half and share with all of us. I will, will give me a sound here, like, listen, listen, right, I'm about to split. Right? Oh, oh, and now, and now just, uh, listen as I go eat them, because you're in Canada, no. Lithuania, Malaysia. To give it a I'm good throw! Postage. I want you to listen, awesome. listen. Oh. <laughs> if he actually manages to throw that, imagine the impact oh, that God. thing lands. Oh god. <clears throat> oh, I can't, mm. Oh, um, you, 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 you meanie, stop it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, only on the MBS show. Oh, uh, you, you big meanie, you. Where you get the, you the sound exclusive. of man eating cookies. There's your exclusive midnight scribe eating cookie. Shock uh, order. You, you meanie. Ah, uh, you, you meanie. I know. I'm executing cookies. You want to know who's not a meanie? Who? Me? Hasbro. Hasbro no meanie. They already told us when the second part of season 5 is coming out. Oh, really? Ooh. Yeah. Where? It's going to be on September 12th. That's when school starts! Those monsters! <laughs> then, there we go. Wait, you have class on Saturday? I have no idea. <laughs> College man, you never know. Yeah. yeah. True, but usually they don't really have class on Saturday and Sunday. You're talking about project paperwork and quote-unquote pro- team project works. Mm, oh, no. That's just the, the first... Well, well, he's starting in, so got no comment on that. Anyway, a TV listing website called Zeptuit just announced when season, well, the second part of season 5 is coming out. And like I said, it's on September 12th. And the announcement is for episode 14. And if you don't mind me um, reading out the synopsis and the episode title, if you do not want, just mute it for about mm, 10 seconds, uh, starting from now. Um, the episode is going to be called Cantalot Boutique. Synopsis is going to be Rarity dreams of owning a boutique in Cantalot finally comes true, but it comes at a price Rarity may not be willing to pay. So, this is awesome. And 
I can't wait. Like, Rarity's been waiting for her own episode for a while now, and we get it. Yay. But at what price? <laughs> oh, so true. So true. <laughs> That's going to be good. I know. I can't wait. I can't wait. So, any guys, any questions for Rob here? Do you have an artist that you draw inspiration from? That's a good question. Unfortunately, no. Um, I, I really don't. And that's not to, like to sound pretentious or anything. It really isn't. I just don't really know of any like artists that I really, really, really look up to, you know, or like I try to not necessarily mimic, but like, yeah, it's take inspiration from. I really don't know. Hmm. I do see your style here and it's rather unique. That is pretty unique. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What inspired your style? Like, what got you started off with this style, really? Um, I'm not really sure. It's just like, you know, when I started off, I, I got my pencil and paper, and I just tried drawing something. And, of course, it obviously wasn't good, so I kept trying to do it again and improving and going, hey, that looks kind of bad. Let's try that again. And just over time improving, I've sort of developed, I've, I've developed a way of drawing things. Hmm, all right. I'm seeing your art here, and it's the... How to put this? It's cute. It looks really awesome. I was going for rough and rugged. How dare you? <laughs> oh, Welcome sorry. to my world. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Look at that I OC. I appreciate the compliment. <laughs> <laughs> no, but still, um, the OC looks really cute, and it's rather unique. Like, having it be a reindeer is another thing, but I just don't know what to say. Like, I just can't wait to see pony work from you because all I'm seeing here is the majority of your work is with reindeers and your yeah. pony is about 5% on your given Most of that, most of that though is because I, uh, I usually have to draw out of necessity. So like if I have to make like a title card or something, then chances are if I'm in the video, I'm going to put myself on it, mm -hmm. uh, and things like that. So a lot of my art is just used for videos or it's used for something. Um, I always try to put my art into something because I, I don't like it just sort of sitting there in my folder picking up dust. <laughs> uh, so that's why I do end up drawing my character often. Uh, however, I, I will expand out. Uh, I, will, I will draw more different characters, that's for sure. I will be looking forward to it. I will be looking forward to it. This is just the same shameless plug for me. So, But Ty, if you and me were to do a collab, what would it be? We'd have to do a collaboration on how the other guys in our gaming group... <laughs> Are, are a bunch of cheating, cheating, well, you, you know, you know Excuse bad words. Think, me. Of a, think of a colorful adjective to put there. Excuse <laughs> me? I wasn't the one who put that train in the middle of the freaking tracks. You're just as guilty now. <laughs> oh, you know wow. what you did. <laughs> uh, this needs a bit of, bit of backstory for people yeah. who don't know. Um, me, Ty, our friend Jack, Kyle and Ro here. We have this gaming group we do. It's well, nothing's too serious. We just play for fun. Most of our games are Rocket League and what you might call this? Ticket, uh, to, Ticket ride. to Ride. Yeah, uh, left that as well as a bit. Yeah, never does. Mm -hmm. I'm sure we'll find other games in the future, of course, considering how all three of us are massive gamer freaks. Mm, true that. True yeah. that. We prefer to use the term nerd. Thank you very much. <laughs> nerd. Near me, near me, nerd. Yeah, so we play a few games, and, well... In the end, we kill each other, basically. Yeah. yeah. It's get violent. <laughs> it does get violent. I mean, Canada becomes non-neutral. I kill my waifu. <laughs> she then kills me, and then it all goes wrong from there. No, first we'd make a divorce, then we kill each other. <laughs> How violent. fast are you... Like, I can just see it, like, you've got, like, AK-47 in your hand, divorce paper, and you have her sign... <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, I'm but... a free man. <laughs> 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 it's a Western duel. <laughs> oh, uh... If it was Western, I'd be using a revolver and I'd be going Clint Eastwood. If an SAK, it's more like a mush Russian mafia movie. <laughs> <laughs> but still, but still, I mean, we start off all friendly and then we ended up killing each other. And the the funny thing is, uh, we start off with Left 4 Dead, and well, Left 4 Dead is very violent. You kill zombies and whatnot. And well, that's the game that. Pulls us together with teamwork. Yeah. The game that rips us apart is Ticket to Ride. Well, so, it does tear us apart, but only our virtual avatars. Yeah. Uh, if we get overrun, ride. but yeah. Ticket to Ride, what, we want to kill each other. Like, what was that Canada land again? I forgot. Winnipeg? Yeah. We do not talk about Winnipeg, right? 
No, we don't. I don't know why. I, I gotta. I'm gonna like whip myself three times after this for saying it. Yeah, we don't talk about Winnipeg. That's actually um, the title track of Brian Nan's new album. Oh really? Is it on sale? Yeah, but only in uh, Winnipeg. Because <laughs> it's, cause it's great. Because it's like we've got an album out called We Don't Talk About Winnipeg. Yeah, they release it in Winnipeg, which means they have to talk about Winnipeg. <laughs> so his album's been pulled as well. Oh god. Uh, now I know I'm going to title this show. <laughs> Hashtag Bad Bad Winnipeg. <laughs> oh, watch it go viral. Just like a bunch of Canadian people coming, like you're trying to ban Winnipeg. You can't ban Winnipeg. Winnipeg Nobody is lives a staple in Winnipeg, Canadian Kyle. society. <laughs> Nobody listens right, listen, to right. Listen to that. That's the Canadian saying that. So any hate <laughs> mail could be directed towards um, Ty and Daga at facebook.com forward slash Ty and Daga and he also has a YouTube channel youtube.com forward slash Ty and Daga. Any hate mail there direct towards him because he's one of yours. <laughs> along with along with uh, Justin Bieber and um, Okay, no, 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 no. Justin Let's... Bieber's our problem anymore. <laughs> he's in the state. Let's not go there, gentlemen. Moving yeah, on to yeah. Norman. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Saying. But Ty, you, you said that you're going to college, so how is your channel going to be? Like, is it going to be postponed, delayed, or normal? I don't want to, like, say that I'm postponing it, because I don't want to stop what I'm doing. However, school's going to have to come before the channel. I don't know how much free time I'm going to have, and that's the most frustrating part of this. It's like, oh no, summer's going to end, I'm not going to be able to make videos as often anymore. Um, I don't want to say that I'm quitting or that I'm postponing, because I know for a fact that I won't. However, videos will be sparse, uh, for sure, uh, which is unfortunate. I, I, li- I like making videos. It's fun, and you know, clearly people seem to enjoy them as well, which is always fun as well. I really don't want to stop, but I'm certainly going to be delayed, for sure. Mm, because I'm, looking at, I'm seeing a pattern in your posting, and it's like you do a video twice a month kind of deal. Yeah, once or twice a month. And I mean, a lot of that's just because I, I do it just for the enjoyment, right? It's no mm. fun sitting at a computer for hours and hours and hours, sitting there slaving away at your editing software. No, if I, you know, I'll, I'll edit for about an hour, hour and a half, then I'll go do something else. I'll have some fun, maybe if I have school or something, do some homework or whatever, and then I'll come back to it later on. And that way, um, because once you're working on like a video project for so, so long, like hours and hours and hours, you start to get lazy because you just want to make more progress. Um, and that's a very bad habit to get into. <laughs> I, I know that one so well. I know that one so well. I do hope that at least you can produce a video once a month. Yeah, that'd be like the goal. If I can do that, then I'm completely set. No problem. And will you stop interacting with the fans? No, no, no. That's one thing at least I can see myself doing. So, like, if somebody leaves a comment or goes on my Facebook, like, sends a message to me, um, I should be able to respond to that no problem because it really doesn't take too long to respond to a comment. Um, and I always respond. So, like, if anyone ever comments and unless I feel, like, uncomfortable about it or something, I'm going to respond to said comment. Uh, so that's something I can continue doing at least. Um, at least I can do. Mm. What about collabs with other people that you're not in charge of? That was one thing that I considered heavily as well, uh, because obviously if I don't have to do the editing, it sounds like I'm just trying to be lazy and get out of it. If I don't have to do the editing, then at least I can spend more time, you know, doing things like for school and whatnot and let other people worry about it. No, but, uh, if, with collabs though, like if I'm not the one doing the editing, I try to at least help out as much as I can. Obviously there's not much you can really do once you've done the script and you've done your voice work and you send it in. There's really not much you can do, but you, you always have to make sure you offer as much help as possible. Um, that's what I try to do, but it's certainly a lot easier to collab with others. <laughs> yeah, I'll go, uh, tell, tell my co-host about it, like. Amen. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Luckily for me, I have an editing robot called SweetieBot. She does most of the heavy work, so yay. Well, that's good. Yeah. It's the Mark II, I remember, right? 2.5, bro? Mark III. The Mark II got uh, the... Yeah. Mountain. Yeah, Mark III. So, yeah. Vacation. <laughs> but anyway, Ty, are we missing anything? Are we forgetting to ask you anything? No, I, I think... Gosh, you've covered me. You did it. You're like a blanket. You've covered me. <laughs> yay. Fun fact for you all who are listening at home, why there's not much news. Uh, we're recording this on uh, Thursday. <laughs> usually, Prime Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Usually we record on Saturday, but because of scheduling with Thai here, it's a bit tight. 
we had to, well, basically cater to him. So, this is something new. Whoa, cater to me. You're catering to Kyle. <laughs> no, no. Oh, yeah, has anyone mentioned that I'm actually now in control of the NBS show? No. No, you're not. Yes, you are. Yes, yeah, so new management. Yeah. <laughs> I own all your asses. <laughs> oh, and I boo. get eight hey, potatoes an episode. Oh, instead boo, of seven. Boo. <laughs> A guy's, gotta eat, a, pan. a guy's gotta eat. A guy's gotta eat. I'm trying to think of a potato pan, but my brain's fried. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say that. Dang. Oh. I, I know. Listen, Rob, you should know from when you're on my episode that I won the pan battle. I don't want you peeling into new puns, is all. <laughs> that doesn't even work. You peel potatoes! <laughs> yeah, but that doesn't work as a term. It's it got to work both ways for pan to work. Listen, look, your mind's frittered. Gonna have... yeah. There, oh. that's how you do a pun. There you go. Stop bashing words. You're confusing me. <laughs> <laughs> ah, roll a man after my own heart. Oh, uh, but anyway, um... must be faked. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I'm not faked. I'm Look at my hair. Uh, wow. <laughs> anyway, uh, Ty. Well, I, think, I think I think Norman's been hacked. I think you may have been chipped. <laughs> Uh, I'm 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 getting boiled here right now. I'll start acting like a spud. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, Ty, thank you for coming on and thank you for talking with us, man. Well, thank you for having me. It's it, it's a pleasure, certainly. You're welcome to come on again, man. Like we are happy to have you on. Well, that'd be great. But anyway, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at emishowgmail.com. And if you would like to email us personally, links are in the show notes. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at MBS Show. SweetieBot will tweet about, well, this show and anything else. As for me, you can reach me at Norman Sanzo. I tweet about toys, food, and whatever kills my fancy. And currently, tickling my fancy is Magic the Gathering. So, yay. Ro, what about you, man? You can find me at Twitter at Relicious underscore Art, where I tweet about webcomics that I discover and love to read. And there are so many fascinating webcomics. And sometimes just toss in random quotes as I go. Or you can find me at my gallery at relicious.dvnr.com, where I draw all the waifus. Oh, so and recently awesome. I've been drawing crystal gem waifus, all of them. <laughs> nice. What about you, Kyle? Well, you can find me on Facebook at uh, facebook.com forward slash Kyle McCall. That's my official page for any writing projects I'm doing, creative vibes, uh, appearances in the NBS show, random odds and ends, they all appear there. Uh, our main page for the Highland Bronies, which I'm a part of, is uh, facebook.com forward slash Highland Bronies. And our YouTube channel, which is called Highland Bronies, uh, which is where the episodes of Creative Vibes are up, which, um, and I've repeatedly mentioned that, uh, Tyne Dagger, aka Rob, because we're on first name terms, is, <laughs> we are. Uh, he is, uh, he was our last guest and, you know, he is single-handedly going to make the show a huge success. So I do owe him, uh, antler scratch when I get the opportunity to see him. You owe me two, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I only do one. You need to, you need, yeah. Like, wait, who, oh, hang on, I might be possessed here. You used to fighting for me. <laughs> That's so cute! <laughs> <laughs> wow! No Not saying it anymore. <laughs> no, no comment. And what about you, Ty? Where can they find you? Well, you can always find me on YouTube, YouTube.com/slash Ty and Dega. Uh, you can also find me on DeviantArt. That's uh, DeviantArt.com/slash Ty and Dega Art. Uh, spell it like two words. There's just two A's at the end. It's weird. Don't worry about it. You'll, you'll find it. <laughs> and you can also right. find me on Facebook if you search in Ty and Dega. You'll find it. The URL's kind of big. Mm. <laughs> And, well, I'll link everything in the show notes. Also, please subscribe and read us on iTunes, YouTube, and Stitcher Radio. And also like our Facebook page. Yes, we have the Facebooks. You can also catch us on PornivoLive.com. The links are in the show notes. So, I have been Norman Sanzo. I am Relicious. Rhymes with delicious. I am Kyle McCall. Rhymes with on the call. And I am Ty and Dega. Rhymes with swagger. <laughs> and I... Oh, for goodness sake, no. <laughs> Uh, wow. Anyway, we'll catch you guys next week with another awesome episode of the MBS show. Bro, take us out. With more antlers than Canada. See you next time. <laughs> bye bye.
if you remember like um who's Pinkie Pie's VA? Oh, I knew it, but then now I don't. <laughs> My brain just derped. Oh, I also remember? Somebody yeah. Google it. <laughs> Doing so now. Wow, <laughs> this is this is embarrassing. I wish James was here. He wouldn't know in an instant. Oh God. Dang it, James. It's cool, it's cool, it's cool. I'm searching for it now. I think it's normal. We, 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 we always know what to answer, but when we actually get the question, we kind of like, we have, we just, yeah. All right, okay. And I, that happens I, to me on a regular basis. I think have, that's normal. But we always have an answer. We do have an answer. The answer is James. Yeah, true <laughs> that. He, he knows. Everybody oh, we don't know. James. We ask James. All right, okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. Uh, okay, yeah, so three, two, one.